Yeah. All right, sounds good. Cool, man. All right, take care. Later. Yeah. All right, we're getting another tour here of one of the more secluded beaches on the lake, or rock shelves. We're just down from the boat dock. Man, that boat dock looks really nice too. I gotta take the lid off. And what did you call this beach again? Or this Tranquility. Spot? Yeah, Tranquility. So I think later this week what I'm going to probably do is meet up with my buddy Chuck and go up to Mount Keminis. Today we're going to chill out around here. What else did you want to do? Any other plans? Nope. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, of course not. Yeah, so we'll probably go back to the house, pack up the stuff in your car, make sure we don't forget anything. Maybe I'll stash some of my other stuff in the house and keep some in the tent. And then we'll be good to go for a few more days at least. So weather's just getting nice. Beautiful weather. Yeah. Yeah, get everyone to hear the story. Yeah, that's sick. How much does it cost to fill the tank? Twenty-seven dollars. Oh, nice. Fuck. Yeah, I was filling the small car this weekend. It was like 60 bucks every time. We were going through grass like crazy. Mm. That's better than the work trucks. They're putting in like 300 bucks to fill up now. It's like, fuck. Yeah. I just bought some saddlebags. I gotta put them here. And I bought new pipes. So I gotta change the pipes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you can do it yourself, save a lot of money. Huh? Yep. But this thing is not loud, I mean... Compared to the hose, it's like, yeah. you know. I hope with the pipes it'll be a little louder. But yeah. it's pretty comfortable on the road, I'd say. Yeah. Gets you around fast. And I can get a passenger. Cool. Yeah, yeah that's a good size back seat on that one. Yeah. Oh, even the back row is too, yeah, that's so. I'm gonna get a, it's called a crash bar, but you have foot peg rests on them, so my feet will be like that. Nice. Oh yeah, so more comfortable for the ride. Yeah. That'll help the back, yeah. Yeah. Because right now, when I'm driving, it's like, it pinches my nerve. Shit. Yeah, so I tend to do this. I go up to the second seat. <laughs> oh yeah, to stretch out. I notice that when I'm like trying to sit anywhere, like a movie theater or something, if I can't stretch my leg out, it's in trouble. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that's fucked. Here. How the body reacts to this. Yeah. All right, so I guess I'll try to keep my phone charged and I'll just give me a shout or text. I'll hopefully still have internet. My internet's like 2G here, so it's like I'm almost not getting anything, but huh. still enough to connect. And it's just like a wireless data plan. Okay. So at least I got internet for now. Yeah, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to stay here till Sunday. I haven't heard any reason I have to go yet, hopefully. Oh yeah, what day were you doing the rental again? Probably this whole weekend, man. Oh, the whole weekend, so maybe yeah. I could help on Friday or Saturday. Yeah. That'd be sick. That'd be neat to see some other areas, too. Take a few pictures on the way. Yeah, man. Yeah. I think I'll try to come back with my uh, SUV. Oh, sick. Instead of my truck, or maybe both. Nice. I'll get my buddy to drive my SUV. Yeah, and just remind me to bring that Mercury test kit, too, because yeah, I'll forget. <laughs> Fuck. No, I have it in my backpack, so I still got it. At least I remember to bring it. <laughs> It would have been a pretty good finding, eh? Yeah, to add it to the mystery. Like, it's strange. Like, you're seeing the Draco constellation pattern of the positioning of the rocks looks like it. Yeah, and I was thinking that it's a good coincidence, too, that it's up north. 
And the time of the alignment of the earth with that constellation would match also. Yeah. Never even thought that. And the paintings and the walls datation is also the same age. Sick. So something predating the Romans have oh, yeah. been colonized here. Creation. <laughs> well, Scythian. <laughs> I know. would say Celtics people were here. Yeah. The Phoenician. Yeah. Hauling the material for Solomon King and you know, all them mines. Yeah, it's wild if we could go back like even a well, few thousand years. The archaeologists are digging uh, a road with engravements that it's a Roman pavement and have ditches on the sides. It's under like six feet of mud in north coast of Quebec. What? And they have pillars of rocks under sea that looks like it would uh, sit something to unload big ships. Holy shit. Like base piles of rocks that makes, like it's not naturally appearing. Yeah. It's been made. So they're thinking that this Roman type of road were used to haul the material mined from wow. the land here. They even had a road network that much. Well, you can imagine. well the, the natives here had more than a million people having trades in Mississippi. Yeah. By uh, New York State in the main. Yeah. All the Mexican tribes, the American tribes from Nevada from West Coast BC, from Northern Canada. They were all meeting there and making their trade. And the Iroquois were the ones who were in charge of security on the waters of many trades. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. We always yeah. think that nothing big was happening in the olden days, but you gotta wonder. Yeah, man. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah it's a cool scarf, it works for the bugs. Yeah. For sure, man. Alright, well, have a safe trip. Thanks yeah, for man. dropping by. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Hopefully, yeah. we'll get to hang out again before I head out. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> cool. I'll give you a shout. Alright, sounds good. Come by and then uh, we'll roast the fire. Alright, sounds good. Here, I'll film the bike. I can come by and go on the boat. I want to go to those rocks. Yeah, that'd be fun to do too. I'll bring the camera even if it falls in the water. I can well, get a new camera. Will be fine. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We'll be dry enough, right? Oh, yeah. All right, so I'll charge up some battery. batteries for that, too. <laughs> right on. All right, sounds good. Cool, man. All right, take care. Later. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Well, today's just about to wrap up. The sun's starting to go down. It's the big full moon. I really don't know. Here, let me try to adjust this sound quality. Is that better? A little bit. So anyways, this is the room I'll be staying in for tonight. Or keeping my stuff in. I've actually just got a tent outside because the air quality in here is really bad. You can tell from this room. So yeah, the house was definitely in worse shape. And it definitely still seems haunted in a way because from you can tell the decorations. <laughs> so it's been a wild weekend so far. I pretty much got invited to a good party every day and every night that I've been here so far. It's already four days, so I figured, hey, I should really stay in tonight because it's the big super moon, full moon, and 
maybe just stay by my tent and check out the night stars a, a bit tonight. It's the first night that I'm actually on my own, so... Well, I still got my neighbor staying next door with his dogs, and they bark really loud anytime one anyone comes by, so it makes me feel a lot safer. He's one of the coolest neighbors I think you could have ever. I don't know how we locked out this way. But, yeah, you can see the house is beyond repair, so the plan now that I'm looking at it is demolishing and making some room for either a trailer or a tiny house. Hoping one of those plans works out. Now I was looking at the property across the street and you can see that it looks like other people have demolished and just left it a grass lot. So I was thinking if I had a big grass lot here with a garage in the back, that would be pretty sweet. A lot better than having nothing that I can use. So yeah, if anyone's wondering the updates and how this trip is going, how it's been so far, it's pretty much been more action and excitement that I've seen in my life the past four days and I have like in the past 10 years <laughs> so I can't really blame it all on just the lockdowns and different life events but yeah it's really quite an adventure and I can't believe that I was getting so nervous part way through the trip super high anxiety that I really couldn't handle going so I'm glad that I pushed it and managed to make it through the anxiety so far the only dangerous thing as you can see this house is in really rough shape it's even almost off of its foundation so, yeah, we got to do something about the house quick. <laughs> you now, if anyone's wondering the bathroom situation of the house, let's give a little peek of that. So you can see, if you looked carefully, it's a nightmare. <laughs> yes, I don't know how this video is going to turn out in the end, but so far, so good. The trip has been very difficult and very rewarding at the same time so I'm having a blast and hopefully the good times continue we made some more plans for the week we actually just had some bikers that came by with some ancient mystery clues from Quebec so hopefully we'll have that segment all edited together you might have already watched it before watching this so yeah if anyone wants to see more of the video make sure to stay tuned subscribe and who knows what the adventures are going to be next as you can see, it's a little unpredictable. I won't even show you the basement because it's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> now, the basement is really nice, except for uh, one or two rooms where the walls are caving in. But other than that, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, yeah, as you can tell, I'm walking very gingerly. I'm worried that the house is going to collapse. So, yeah, hopefully this demolition is going to happen sooner than later. Well, not while I'm in the house. <laughs> Now, and a big shout out to everyone that's helped make the trip a blast so far. Charlene, Nicholas, my neighbor, George, all the other people that I've seen on the way. All the great people in Kirkland Lake working in the stores. So polite, friendly, very welcoming to people from out of town. <sighs> yeah, it's almost too much to take in. So I think really well, it's going to be a blast maybe seeing the stars. I've already been here four days and it's been raining almost every time. So I haven't had a chance to even look at the night sky even though I'm way up north. <laughs> so hopefully tonight we'll see that big super moon or whatever they're calling it. the har Not harvest moon. If anyone knows what type of moon, put it in the chat. I think it's super moon and was it watermelon moon? Melon moon? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Now, if anyone wanted to see the, the neighbor that had uh, the tinfoil roof, it's been upgraded to a tarp. So, man, make fun of his house. His house is still standing. <laughs> I think he's won the battle of the standing houses. Alright, so, yeah, I guess we'll wrap up for tonight. I figure I really don't want to stay in this room. As comfortable as it may seem with all my stuff in here, this clown picture on the roof is just freaking me out. <laughs> But maybe it's a good omen that I shouldn't stay in here anyways. Yeah, we got our video games live poster. Big shout out to Tommy Tellerico. I know he's going through a lot of hard times with the Amico right now. Video game community. So shout out to all the Amico fans and the haters. <laughs> We're all in this together. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's almost too much to stay in here much longer. So what I'll do is probably pack up and move all my stuff to the tent soon that I need for tonight before it gets dark. Go for a walk maybe to see the lake before we wrap it up. 
So who knows, before we wrap up today's video, you might see me at the lake. Alright, if not, see you tomorrow. Later. Bye for now, everyone.